everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend and you are preparing to say adios to 2023. What a year it has been. I think this year has been one of the most challenging years for me running this business, but it's also been, I think, a very rewarding year in a lot of ways. Lots of growth has happened. Lots of cool, awesome things have happened. Uh, but we're finishing the year as we started it on a cold, wet December day, which is just the way it is. Anyway, uh, this is being recorded the same day that I filmed last week's Sunday Musing because for the first time ever, the entire team is going to get the entirety of the Christmas into New Year period off. And I'm super excited and happy and proud of that. So you'll just have to put up with me looking the same as I did last week. I literally just moved the can camera from one side of the pickup truck to the other. Please don't judge me. Anyway, as we are at the end of the year, I want to ask your thoughts and hopes for next year. It's a lot going to be happening. Lots of new cars that were promised may not actually come to market next year as promised. They may be delayed because of some of the challenges that are going on in terms of uh, production rollbacks. We've been let down a lot by a lot of car companies this year. But there's also hopefully going to be some cool stuff happening too. And I would love to know if there is anything that you are particularly looking forward to next year. I know personally, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to, and it's super nerdy, is the potential for Ford to turn on the ability for our truck to start feeding power back to the grid. It announced a pilot program in certain parts of the US earlier this year. I don't think it's gonna be coming to Oregon anytime soon, but I can live in hope, right? Because that would be really awesome. I, I bought the F-150 Lightning partly because we need it for work, partly because my wonderful wife who was actually off camera right now doing some some uh, stuff in the shop uh she just dropped off a bucket of um wood chips to go in the greenhouse behind she doesn't want to be on the camera so fair enough uh but we bought this truck because you need to haul a lot of stuff we have to haul a lot of camera equipment we use it for filming we use it for road tripping but we also use it for the backup power potential and if you've watched this channel this year you'll know that we've had so many problems with the F-150 Lightning officially turning on power in the house, or officially uh, correctly turning power onto the house. It's late, I'm cold, my brain's not working, words are hard, etc., etc. Anyway, as the year drew to a close, we've actually had four successful attempts at powering the house from the truck and it now works perfectly, so who knew? Um, but into next year, I hope that we start seeing the ability for us to feed power back to the grid so that we can earn money as a generator in peak, in peak periods. And maybe our local electricity company will allow us to use the truck in much the same way that it lets Powerwall users feed power back to the grid when there's excess demand. I'd love to be able to be part of that. I think that would be a really good benefit to owning the truck and I'd be doing some good for the local grid as well. Something else I'm really excited about this year, of course, this coming year in 2024, is the Aptera. Um, we have been promised that Aptera's engineering will be finished this year and production intent vehicles will be ready to be tested and driven. And I'm hoping that Aptera will work with Transport Evolve this year and let us do a fairly extensive test on that vehicle. I don't expect that I will get an Aptera this year. Frankly, I can't afford it right now, but um, I'm hoping that 2024 will be the year that we first see uh, deliveries of those vehicles. The other thing I'm really looking forward to this year and I'm hopeful for this year is some more concerted effort to reduce uh, our reliance on fossil fuels. We, we have to make a step and I'm hopeful that this year the American people will make a smart choice when it comes to the presidential election and that they will pick a candidate who is not going to do bad things for the environment or for the people we care about in our, in our world. And I think that both candidates have done bad things when it comes to fossil fuel exploration and expansion of fossil fuel drilling and refining. 
So I'm hoping that whoever ends up in the White House in, in January 2025 will be the candidate who's actually going to do more to try and stop fossil fuel exploration, who's going to try and encourage more solar power, more wind power, more renewables and more sustainability. But let's not kid ourselves. This year is going to be full of political rhetoric. I think we're going to see more and more from Elon Musk in that kind of vein. And I'm most certainly not looking forward to that because the fallout, whenever Elon says something, it always comes our way and it's very unpleasant when it does. So uh, definitely not hopeful for that. One thing I am much more hopeful for this year, though, is uh, that we're going to start seeing more affordable EVs. Um, we have to. If we really want to see our society switch away from fossil fuels, 2025 is... Uh, it's very close and once we get to 2025 we'll have 10 years left to get to for example Canada's ban on internal combustion engine sales and so we really do need to start putting things into high gear you know I've been driving electric vehicles now for getting close to 20 years and I've been saying we need to go electric for for 20 years but now we kind of we have to really put ourselves into high gear and figure out the financial aspect of that, trying to make transportation more equitable, sustainable. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe it looks like more public transport and less private car ownership. And honestly, I'd be OK with that as long as we do it in a way that everybody can benefit from. So that's something I'm looking forward to this year. And of course, I'm also looking forward to making more amazing content with everyone at the channel. This year has been the first year in a really long time where it's felt like we're really getting in our groove. <laughs> M's video production work has just taken off. Kate's investigative journalism has taken off. Erin's animation and her thumbnail foo has taken off. And honestly, I feel like I'm just watching, ooh, I'm just watching all these amazing people doing amazing things and I'm going, I, I need to play catch up. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to what the team can produce and make this year. And I think it's going to be an incredible year. I think there's going to be lots of cool things happening. Uh, but enough from me. What about you? Let me know your hopes and your fears in the comment section below. Be polite to one another. Know that other people are going to have different opinions to you. And there is a thing called civil discourse, which we encourage, as opposed to just shouting and calling each other names, which we don't. Whatever you're doing next, I hope you had a great holiday thus far. I hope you have a very merry and very safe and prosperous new year. And I'll see you in a week's time. Well, actually, I won't because I'm being a giant animal next weekend. So I'm going to see you in two weeks time when um, I will be back with a normal chicken and garden. And next week, you've got the lovely Kate who's going to step in and give you a little bit of an update from her part of the world. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you soon. Thanks for joining me today. And if you've got thoughts, make sure you leave them below in our Discord chat room, or you can reach out to us on Mastodon. Thanks to the amazing list of people scrolling on your screen right now. They are some of the more than 1,500 people who help fund this channel through Patreon and YouTube. They help cover our bills, pay our team, and make sure that we can be 100% independent. If you'd like to join them, and of course see your name listed here, just follow the links below. There are a range of different tiers you can sign up for, from as little as just $1 a month, or if you pay yearly, just under $11 a year. A huge welcome to our newest supporters, Nathan Plowman, Hanno, Bender, Estelle, and Sarah J. Goodfriend. If you'd like to support us with a one-off donation, you'll find links below to make Kofi and Bitcoin donations. And we even have a good old-fashioned PO box you can reach us at. The address is linked to below. And if you're in need of some swag, you should also check out our swag store in the down below too. We've got some great content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed on Peertube or YouTube, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget, we make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want more, the mighty algorithm thinks you'll like this video, but we think that this one is also worth a look.
See you soon, and as always, keep evolving! <laughs>